a few questions about Moroccan lenses. I'm particularly interested in Gedra. Yes. How did they achieve these trans lens? Did, I mean, I, I can't fall into trends if I try to sway my hair. I feel very it's dizzy. It's not just about swaying your hair. Um, in Morocco, it's not just the Gidra, but Moroccans are very prone to falling into trance in all sorts of situations. They have many different rituals that induce trance. The Ganoa, the Asawira, the Gidra, and so on. Um, let's take Ganoa. So, in Ganoa, it's, it's different than in, in the Gidra. There, it, it's, a, it's a long, complicated ritual, and it, it, it has a very particular order, and, it's, and each rhythm is associated with a particular saint or jinn, um, spirit, and that saint has different attributes. So for instance, there's one that's blue that's associated with water and uh, other things. There's one that's black where they turn off all the lights and they do horrible things like cutting off chickens' heads and things. There's, um, there's one that always comes at the end which is yellow, which is Leila Mira, uh, who is um, yellow and she likes all sorts of fun and happy things. It's a cathartic kind of moment at the end where after going through all these serious things everybody can get up and dance and just have fun. Different people react to these different emotion, spirit, rhythm complexes. And for instance, I for myself am not somebody who could really fall into trance, but I notice that of all of those there is one particular one that always makes me want to move where they pull me up, where um, yeah, if I lived, I know that if I lived in that society and grew up, I would be uh, um, susceptible to that particular rhythm. So it's if if you're if you're used to that, if you're not in our culture, which makes us hold back and, and not do certain things mm -hmm. all the time, I think that comes naturally, falling into trance. And you'll find in Morocco that even if you go to something that's not a trance ritual, say you're at a wedding and the right kind of rhythm music comes that happens to get you, people will even fall into trance in, in a, in a non-trance situation. And how do they get out of the trance? <laughs> um, well, first of all, when they're in trance, um, say you're at a hadra or another kind of trance ritual, like I was in, Morocco, in, in Algeria this summer um, at one, women will get up, and women do different things. Um, there might be one who just stands there and goes like this, or another one who throws her hair back and forth, or one who tosses her head, or another one that goes like this, or another one just runs around and screams. Um, everyone does this a little bit differently. When that happens, particularly it looks like if they're going to fall over, usually someone will take care of them. So they might put, for instance, a scarf around their waist and hold on to them so that when they're doing this, they don't fall over. Um, and when they finally have had enough, and either they fall down or it's just enough. Then they're taken care of. Um, incense might be brought, rose water, or another kind of perfumed water, um, and they'll be taken off and put somewhere where they can kind of come down. It, it's, it's a community, which is something that we don't have so much of anymore, mm -hmm. where people really work together and take care of each other. So they're actually releasing their uh, evil spirit, or...? Um, some have to do with releasing spirits. Some of these rituals have to do with appeasing the spirit. So it's like accepting that that's part of you, and in order to be feel good, you have to feed it in a certain way. And others, like the Gidra, is not about evil spirits. It's about, it's about sending out blessings to people, sending out blessings to all the different directions of the universe, and, different parts of your body and other people in the room. How about the sheikhat? Sheikhat. They're professional dancers and singers and they take care of the, the bride and the man. They <laughs> prepare <laughs> for the wedding. You know, if you look, if you go to see, when we look at Raks Sharki, belly dance, in mm -hmm. Egypt, what we are used to seeing represents a tiny, tiny, maybe less than 1% of what actually happens in Egypt. Those are the people who make it so rich that they make it into television and movies and nightclubs. The, the large mass of dancers that are professionals for the Baladi people um, have the same function. And they do very obscene things at weddings sometimes. And I'm not going to demonstrate that for you. Um, <laughs> Could you really describe this? <laughs> I'm very interested. If he turns it off, I'll show you.
show you something that I've seen. Okay, please. A film, right? She took out some of the really good um, parts of the from Zanzibar. But there's this part in Zanzibar where they are doing stuff at a wedding. That's, I mean, turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Even if if you look at like in Croatia, you have like the cut of the cake and mm -hmm. the on which side does the knife go? Yeah. Or let me see if I can remember. Um, and then we're going to go and have fun ourselves, something. There's tons of songs that are so obscene. Um, in Bulgaria, they have all of these things about the little pepper, yeah? Um, and, and phallic things. If you look at Kal the Kalashari rituals from Romania, um, the, the mute, the one who does the, the sort of buffoon sort of like things, often has a big wooden red phallus that he's playing around with. And, Look at any of your carnival rituals here, and some of the stuff that particularly used to go on. So how how do they look at those women who educate <laughs> the bride? Are well, they respected? Uh, in a certain way, they're respected and needed because they provide a certain important thing, and people love them, and they they, they create nashat, which is a, a sort of festive atmosphere that you need to have for a party. On the other hand, they are, you know entertainers. And just like here, I mean, look at, um, no one would have a um, hundred years ago married a musician or, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 